Tonight, authorities have identified the man involved in Saturday's deadly officer-involved shooting in Redding. Action News Now reporter Luna Nas has more. I'm standing off of Antelope River Bridge here in Red Bluff where a man was shot dead by police after confronting them with a big stick, leaving many unanswered questions. When is it going to stop? Early Sunday morning, 42-year-old Henry Lane was shot dead, leaving many questioning why police used deadly force, including Myra Taylor, who hasn't spoken with Lane in years, but was formerly his common law wife for eight years. The police and the sheriff in this community, in this county, know better than anyone when they've dealt with these people year in and year out, what their problems are and what their issues are. And stopping them permanently with a bullet isn't going to end the mental health crisis around here. We need help in our community, and using a gun isn't the help that everyone needs. Lane was tasered and beanbagged and was ordered to drop the stick before Harper shot him. Although the investigation is still ongoing, Red Bluff Police has responded to the shooting. Each time he defied. Ultimately, uh, when uh, one of the officers felt that their life or the life of the other officers were in danger in terms of receiving significant injury, uh, a choice was made to utilize deadly force. Though I have had opportunity to preview some of our uh, body camera footage, I've also seen a, a video online. And based on those reviews, preliminarily, uh, I do see that uh, use of force and significant use of force appears to have been appropriate. Yeah, why do you think it was, uh, based on what you've seen, why do you think it was appropriate? Uh, because I think the use of a stick, which in this case was uh, several uh, feet in length, had some girth to it, I think anyone uh, who is reasonable could conclude that if that uh, weapon were used against an officer or uh, anyone for that matter and was to strike them, particularly in the head, that could result in serious bodily injury to one of our officers. I would like to know why, for one, I mean, I got a stick in my hand, don't, don't shoot me. If I'm if I'm that bad of a threat, shoot me in the leg, do something. Don't. Th that man didn't have to die for that. Lane has left behind two daughters and one granddaughter. Breaks my heart. We, you know, like I said, we haven't been in communication for years. We do share two very beautiful daughters together, which is the, one of the bright points of our life. It's hard. We're saddened. Of course, we've had a day, you know, to try to deal with what's going on. It, it just breaks all of our hearts, and we're trying to pick up the pieces, and we just want, you know, Henry remembered as a person that should have not died that way. It's not okay, and we just want to get the word out, and we're trying to be a strong forward front for him. The Red Bluff Police Department say the investigation is still in its early stages and officer Stephen Harper has been placed on paid administrative leave. Reporting from Red Bluff, Luna Nas, Action News Now.